And right now, the holiday travel rush is on. Here's a live look at Interstate 5 in Sacramento. AAA says right now is one of the worst times to be on the road for the Memorial Day weekend, of course. And same goes for this time tomorrow. Well, AAA is expecting this to be the third busiest Memorial Day weekend since 2000. About 42 million Americans are traveling 50 miles or more this weekend, and that's up 7% from last year. 37 million people will drive to their destinations. Nearly 3.5 million will fly. Mm. Sacramento International is expecting tens of thousands of passengers this weekend. It's going to be a busy spot. CBS 13's yes. Madison Keevy is there live. I hope you're not going anywhere, Madison. This weather is amazing where we're at, <laughs> but you got some good information uh, to avoid the holiday slowdowns, huh? Yeah, Tony, if I took my own advice, I would hop on the train and head to a plane right now. You see behind me, things are very calm. It will not look like this in 24 hours. This influx of travelers coming in are some of those tens of thousands that you mentioned. The advice, though, here at the airport, we say it every holiday weekend, come early and prepare for some delays. The start of a record-breaking Memorial Day weekend. Expect big crowds at the Sacramento airport. We're seeing air, air travel numbers that are higher than they were in 2019. So we're finally reached that pre-pandemic number we've been waiting for. The airport could see 100,000 travelers over the holiday weekend. And that comes with warnings not to park, but ride, share, or get dropped off. Be aware that you may not find a spot in the lot that you're used to parking in. We will have a spot for you if you choose to drive. AAA tracks travel trends and costs. They're up this year, and travelers have noticed. It's very expensive. I planned for this trip because I knew for sure I was coming, but I fly kind of a lot, and I think like last minute flights have been really expensive. To ease the costs to hit the open road, Circle K dropped gas prices by 40 cents a gallon until 7 p.m. Thursday. Noticeable for travelers who aren't flying because of what it costs. A lot more stuff we can get. I get a new pair of shoes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Trust in air travel shaky this holiday weekend. Think back to Southwest's December debacle that left thousands of passengers stranded and luggage stacked in airports miles away. Last time Southwest, I was stuck in, in Northern California from the whole like Southwest um, extravaganza where they canceled every single flight and I had to like drive home to San Diego. Does that make you but, question air flying or are you just kind of put up with it? I put up with it. Yeah, you see this group of travelers just coming in again. This is only going to continue to pick up. The tip here from the Sacramento International Airport is if you're picking someone up and they're set to land at a certain time, that doesn't mean you need to be downstairs in the arrival spot. Give about 20 to 30 minutes before you pull in. It'll keep traffic through the airport moving nicely, and it won't back up, of course, on the highways getting into the airport. I know you're staying put, but where would you go? Hawaii, maybe, we my guess? Hawaii, you know, somewhere tropical, mm -hmm. put my feet oh. up on the beach. But again, you said it, the weather is nice, so I could do that here in Sacramento. Well, if you go, Madison, I would like to be your plus one. Mind. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, it's a date. <laughs> Madison, thanks. Staycation is a good idea. But if you're